Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here and you've never watched any of my videos, welcome. I wanted to do a nail video today, and as you can tell by the title, it is a French tip nail video. And I'm going to be focusing on these nail tips here from BT Art Box. I have tried several of their nail tips, and their nail tips are really great for the Gel X method. They have um, something called the neutral nail tips where they come in shades of brown, nude, or pink, different shapes, different sizes, and it makes it easy to do like a quick manicure because they already have like that neutral color to them. But they recently came out with these French nail tips right here, and they also come in those same neutral colors. I have mine in nude in the short almond. I think they come in like a super short, um, and then they have this short here, a medium, long, different sizes like I said. If you hear anything, sorry, this is my kids over there watching something. But these are great because they make getting a French nail tip design so easy. And I personally like to apply these using the Gel X method. So I'm going to be using the Una Gela nail gel glue right here. It's my own absolute favorite it comes in a tube like this and it's a pretty jelly formula compared to like the ones that come in a bottle it doesn't cure stiff like other gels out there it cures into like a jelly type consistency and I don't know it gives me pretty good hold I would say you can get anywhere from two to four weeks with this method here so I just really love this glue here I did already prep my cuticles and everything and I wiped them with some isopropyl alcohol and I'm gonna go in with my protein bond right here from young nails and I'm gonna apply a little bit of this to my nail bed all the way across. So that's what I do in terms of nail prep. You wanna clean up your cuticle area and then you wanna go in and gently buff the nail plate so that the nails have something to adhere to so your nail bed isn't like super smooth. But you wanna, you know, don't go crazy with that. And then wipe it down with either isopropyl alcohol or you can use a dehydrator. I use isopropyl alcohol as a dehydrator to get rid of oils and stuff like that. And then once I dehydrate the nails, I go in with this protein bond right here. This is kind of like an extra step that helps in terms of longevity. And that's what I do for prep. And then you just go right into applying the nails. So this is what the nails look like right here. I like these tips because they are very flexible and the cuticle is pretty thin. Like it has a very thin cuticle. The tip is pretty structured, I will say. Here, let me actually take one off. So the tip is pretty structured, and then the cuticle is nice and thin, so it makes it very natural looking. And they are transparent, so they're great for the Gel-X method. You don't have to worry about um, issues of gel glue not curing. It will cure through this, because they are pretty transparent. They're not opaque. They're not the sturdiest nails I've ever tried. Like, the first time that I tried these, for some reason, I don't know what I was doing, but like the tip of my thumb, it just completely cracked in half like not cracked but literally the whole french tip portion just cracked off i didn't even notice it but i looked at my thumb one time and i was like huh half my nail is missing so they're not like crazy thick and sturdy but with the addition of a top coat i would say they're pretty sturdy they're much sturdier than like the glue on press on nails that you get from like kiss or something like that so i don't know i really like them and they're very affordable and they have tons of different options but the main reason is they're great because they're already like pre-designed with this French tip design here. The first thing you want to do is kind of go in and size them out and when you go to size them out you want to make sure that the nail is going from sidewall to sidewall and that they fit well. You don't want them to be too big or too small. Okay so I have them all sized out here and I'm gonna set up my lamps. I have my big lamp here and in this box I keep my small lamp as well. So I have my big sun UV lamp right here that I use to fully cure them once I'm done. And I also have this little lamp right here. There's so many different kinds on Amazon, but these lamps are nice because you're able to hold the nail down while it cures. It's a lot harder to do that in like one of these big lamps right here. So this is why I like having both of the lamps. And I don't think that these lamps are strong enough to fully cure them. I think they're better for like flash curing. And if you don't fully cure gel, you might develop an allergy. So this is why I'm recommending fully curing it in a big lamp like this once you are completely done. And I do have um, gloves that I recently bought on Amazon as per a recommendation from, look at me going like this, as per a recommendation from um, some nail accounts that I follow. Let me go actually grab them because I totally forgot them. They're these guys right here. They have like the exposed fingers and I got them from Melody Suzy on Amazon. Lower the camera so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. I have mentioned uh, the process in a few videos but for the sake of this video I'm going to do it again. So what you do is you take your Unagella nail glue gel here or whatever glue you're going to be using. This one I like because it's like thicker and it really helps 
avoid air bubbles because it's thicker and you apply a bit to the underside of the nail like so and then starting from the cuticle you apply, apply pressure upward and you can see the nail glue kind of spreading out make sure that it covers the entire surface area and then this is where this lamp comes in super handy you tap it and then cure it while you're holding it down this is why i recommend having a lamp like this because this is a lot harder to do in the other lamp that i have next to me like the larger lamp it's as simple as that again you're just starting from the cuticle 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 apply pressure upward you can kind of like see it spreading out tap the lamp with one finger and then cure it once this cures i'm going to go ahead and quickly do the other three and then show you guys what it looks like once i'm done this is what the nails look like once they're all on you can see a little bit of the nail glue oozed out on my ring finger i'm going to go ahead and clip that away and then you want to fully cure the nails under the bigger nail lamp like i mentioned previously and then I'm gonna go ahead and file the little tabs at the tip of the nail and you can shape them at this point if you want just be sure not to file away any of the white because it will come off I'm giving it one more swipe with some isopropyl alcohol to get rid of any excess oils and finish it off with your gel top coat of choice and then be sure to fully cure it under a nail lamp as well And last but not least, I'm going to apply my beloved OPI cuticle oil. Got this on Amazon as well. I try to remember to apply this at least once a day, and this is the end result. It looks very natural in my opinion, and it should last you anywhere from two to four weeks, depending on a variety of factors, but just like a very easy way to get a French tip nail design without all the effort of trying to perfect the French tip design right here. So love these nail tips. I think they're personally really great. So check them out. You can shop them on bbtartboxnails.com. I'll link it down below the website or you can find them on Amazon. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in future videos.